Alright, so hello there, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? My name is Kenneth Plays Games, and we're playing a game today. You want to know what that game is? It's the Pokemon Omega Ruby Wedlock. We're back again on Route 113. I'm excited to play a little bit, also kind of nervous, but that's how it always is with Wedlocks. That's what makes it kind of fun. So I think we, in today's episode, we're going to take on Route 113. I'm hoping to uh, get to Fall Arbor, which I think we definitely should. Um, and after Fall Arbor, I'd like to take on, like, I think it's Route 114, and then do the, all the Meteor Falls stuff. And then, uh, yeah, that should be this episode, I'm hoping. So we're cutting. We're getting close to a big battle with Team Magma, so that's going to be intense. I've never actually battled Team Magma. I've never beaten Ruby or Omega Ruby or anything like that. I've beaten, you know, like, Saf or Alpha Sapphire, so I'm used to Team uh, Aqua. But Team Magma, we're going to see what they're going to do. Those Nummels could be potentially dangerous because we have no water types. We do have ground types, though, so yeah, I guess. But still, uh, most of those ground types are also weak. So we're just going to have to see how this is all going to go. We're going to battle this kid. We got Macaroon up the front. Let's see what this kid wants to do. Can you guess why it's so cool around here? Uh, because of the volcano. Actually, the volcano would make it hot. I'm stupid. I don't know why it's so cool. Maybe the, this... Okay, this is a bad matchup. For everyone, actually. <laughs> this is actually not a good matchup for this pair, or any pair, because it's a ground type. Because it's a ground type. Do I have anything for it? I don't. I don't have anything for it. We're gonna go into Fireball, and pray that it does not murder us. Oh, I can't be switched out! Yes! Arena trap! Oh no. Oh no! We're already gonna lose Macaroon? No, please no. Oh no, he's got bulldoze. He's got bulldoze. Frick. Oh my gosh, no! Legit, the first battle we already lost Macaroon! I knew I should have used Skarmory on this round. Oh, that's such garbage. That's such garbage. Ah, it was an arena trap, trap inch, and I, I have to go into Fireball now. I can't do this with Fireball. Oh no, this was a bad matchup. Can we hit a Magnitude? Magnitude 8? Okay, come on, can this please kill? Can this please kill? Oh my goodness! I had to start with Ma No, Macaroon, you had so much potential. And now you have an Electrike! Oh my goodness. Well, this means that Fireball and Red Velvet are now paired up. Um, let's just hit this thing with a freaking Magnitude. Wow, that really takes me off. Oh my goodness, that should still kill. What the heck? What the heck? There was nothing I could do there! That was literally the single worst matchup! Well, besides maybe having Sour Patch in there. Still, like... Oh my goodness, well... Let me switch up Red Velvet and we're gonna go ahead and I guess we're gonna train up Red Velvet right here. Uh, actually, I'll just train up Red Velvet with these trainer battles. So I have Red Velvet up the front with Fireball. Oh, that's really annoying. That's... Oh, man, I was really looking forward to using Macaroon, too. Cam's gonna be so mad. It's gonna be like when Charizard died and Connor was really mad. Gosh dang it, there was seriously nothing I could do. I had no... He's a youngster. What's he gonna have? You'd think Rattatas, but, you know, there are, like, no Rattatas in this game. Seriously, I had no idea what he was gonna have. That's just really unfortunate. Oh, man. I don't know if I can ever forgive myself for that. But it's not even my fault, so yes, I can forgive myself. Let's run from this sand shroom. I'm also lucky to have gotten a level 18 Skarmory. That's pretty nice. That's the first time we've actually had to change a, a pair. Um, like, usually we have, uh... Like, that's the first time a Pokemon uh, has lost a partner and then had to be paired up with a new one. Besides Taffy and Geodude. But Geodude was not... Mudpie was not already in the team when Taffy joined. I mean, when, uh... Mud Pie was not in the team when we lost Apple Pie, so this is the first time that's actually really happened, which is interesting. Let's go for a Metal Claw, because I have better physical attack by a little bit. And he's gonna... You're sturdy, you're sturdy, I'm not, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid, you're sturdy. Regardless, that's gonna do like five damage! Thank you, Coughing, for killing yourself! It's nice to know that I have a Pokemon that can super tank a self-destruct. You know what, go ahead, self-destruct, I'm not concerned. I'm not, I'm not even concerned anymore, I'm not even concerned. Let's just go for freaking... Oh, you know what, I should've gone for Sand Attack! My brother was playing, has been playing through Ruby recently, and he, uh, he used Sand Attack against this guy, or he lowered his accuracy with Mudslap, and he used Self Destruct. Self Destruct, even if it misses you, it still kills your opponent, as <laughs> though so it killed itself and missed my brother. I didn't even know that could happen, so I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, I've taken Macaroon's death a bit better, because I've kind of come to the realization, again, I was talking with uh, some other wedlock YouTubers like Chroma. And, you know, he, he's played through the game like 20 times, so he kind of knows what to expect with each trainer. And honestly, my team, as it's been right now, we, we've been having a lot of troubles, um, you know, with ground types especially. And, of course, I run into a ground type with Arena Trap on it. Oh, oh man. I really do want to use Macaroon, though. I, I am a little upset about that. But you know what? 
There, there's nothing I could have done better. Rest in peace, Macaron. You had. I've always wanted to use a Manectric too. I'm not. I'm not gonna end this, am I? Oh man, I'm trying not to be like a jerk and be like, oh my gosh, such crap. Cause uh, like he reminded me, you know, RNG is part of the game. Even, even if you miss, you're air cutters. Isn't that right, Red Velvet? Hmm, isn't that right? That didn't really matter right there, so I don't care. But yeah, RNG is part of the game, even if you're gonna completely BS. You know, he, he made me feel good because he said he had one web lock that he did trauma, uh, where he lost every single Pokemon to a crit. And I'm like, well, you know what? Not, ha not having that bad of a we uh, wedlock yet. Plus, wedlocks are just way more difficult than nuzlocks. Regardless of whether this has been a wedlock or a nuzlock, though, I would have lost Macaroon because of sand trap or arena trap. That's just arena trap is so brutal. Like holy frick! I was just thinking about using that on a competitive team, like Smackdown Arena Trap. Do you know how OP that that could be? I have to over this turn right here because I think I don't know for sure, but I think she has a normal. I'm not I'm not positive, but I think she has a normal. So I'm gonna go heal. I'll be right back. All right, so guys, we healed in the old lady's house instead of our tree house because there's something that I want to do here. Actually, hello puppy, hello dog. How are you? Oh, you just reminded me of Macaroon. Oh, did I move back into the back of the party? I'm not going to PC box him yet. I'll PC box him next time I get to a town. Because I'm not really close to any towns right now. So there is a fighting tra trainer up here. Or, oh, wait, it's a backpacker. I thought there was a fighting type trainer with a Machop. There's an item. I don't know if I want to fight that dude if he's a camper or a backpacker. I know in uh, Ruby, because my brother was playing, and I saw him. He had to go up against a, uh, a karate dude up here. Let's just get ready, set, go, 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 run, run, run! Maybe I should make my secret base in the cave. I don't really care enough to edit that right now. See, I gotta be careful. I should get off the bike and just run normally. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Route 113. That scratching sound is my dog scratching the carpet. He always scratches it before he lays down. I don't know why. Maybe he's like, hmm, I have to make sure that it's fresh carpet. He's a carpet connoisseur, probably. Okay, you could have, like, I'm actually going to switch Sour Patch up to the, well, I feel like she's a rain lady, so she's probably going to have water types, so I need Sour Patch to take care of this now, because I feel like she's going to have some water types. If she has ground types, you know what, frick, Nummel, she has a Nummel, well, then this is probably the better pair to be using, and she does have a Nummel, so this is definitely the better pair to be using, I would say, um, I mean, it does have magnitude, but... What are you gonna do right here? What are you gonna do? We're not gonna lose Mud Pie, right? We're not gonna lose Mud Pie. Please go for a fire move. Please go for a fire move. Please go for a fire move. Amnesia! Ooh, okay, that's even better. That's actually even better. I kind of wish my Geodude had Sturdy, because Rocky Head, or whatever it is that prevents recoil damage, could be good here, but right now it's not really... Sunny day. It's a sunny day in the neighborhood. Oh, I need to give... Oh, shoot. I should have given the... Oh, please kill, please kill. If not, lower speed so I can outspeed. Okay, we're gonna take it down. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. So I still, I still did have a better pair, but usually Umbrella ladies have water types, I thought, but whatever. Alright, so our patch is gonna gain some experience. So we can actually get a full team, if, none of, if no more Pokemon die, please lord, that'd be fantastic. Um, but we could get a full team with the Pokemon that we can get from, I'm switching Red Velvet back to the front, with the Pokemon that we get from Meteor Falls and the Pokemon we get at Route 114, we could have a full team, potentially. Please don't have, like, a null. That'd really ruin my day. My day would go from, well, I guess it's like 50. I got out of school early today, so that's pretty good. Uh, the reason I did that, uh, I got out of school early, is because not all the air conditioners are set up in all the places all over the county, so they, they like to try to let us out a little bit early, uh, because, uh, today at least, because it was supposed to be really hot, and they wanted to try to set up all the air conditioners. Um, I'm gonna go for Metal Claw and see how much that's gonna do. I think it should still be neutral, because this thing's a rock type. That's not gonna do very much. Can I get the attack boost? No, I can't. Well, that's gonna do even less to me, so I'm just gonna stand and keep doing it. He could use a rock type move. Actually, Skarmory, I don't think is weak to rock, because he's part steel. Let's find out. Not gonna do too much. We are, he is gonna get the speed drop. As long as we don't get critted, I think we should be fine. Can we get an attack boost? Can we get an attack boost? Nope, he's gonna keep using Rock Tomb. Alright, I kinda wanna use a healing item here. HPPP restores. Let's just go for a fresh water use on Red Velvet. This Aeron's getting a little bit annoying. As long as he doesn't crit me, we should be okay. But I have a feeling that he's gonna crit me. It's good, he's got a Metal Claw. He's got a Metal Claw. That's cool. That's cool. That's fine by me. 
that is fine by me if you never leave. It's gonna protect. Interesting, interesting. Kinda wish I'd switch into Numble on that turn so I could just end this quicker, but we do need a lot of experience for Red Velvet. I have a feeling it's gonna take a while to level up. Can we get a crit, maybe? Not quite. Are we out speeding now? We're still out speeding. That's gonna be a GG to that Aeron. Really wish I had an Aeron, although right now, uh, I already have a Steel type, so I guess it wouldn't be good right now, but if I could have an Aeron later, in case something bad were to happen to Red Velvet, please no. I really like Red Velvet. I'd like, uh, I'd like him to survive. Um, yeah. For a second, I was like, wait, is Fireball actually female? Have I been using the wrong Pokemon pair the entire time? Oh. No! I didn't mean to jump there. Whoops. Those don't look like the normal ledges. They look different to me. Frick. I don't want to battle a Spinda. I'm guessing it's a Spinda. It's a Skarmory, actually. Interesting. I don't want to battle a Skarmory, either. Um. Uh. That's annoying. But I have Keen Eye. So that's actually the key. No, I have Keen Eye, not Sturdy. Shoot, I was thinking I had Sturdy. And I went against that self-destruct dude, too, thinking I had Sturdy. I mean, Keen Eye's useful, too, in case somebody wants to be a freaking sand attack jerk. Oh, look, double team. What a great TM that I'll probably never use because it's annoying as frick. Um, who knows? Maybe it'll come in handy one day. And it's good to collect all TMs regardless, just in case, you know. One day. Oh, it looks like we're already in Fall Arbor Town? No, this is this dude's house out here. This guy doesn't battle me. What? Whose house is this again? Oh, a Max Ether. Nice! That'll be useful for the Elite Four if we make it that far. Weblocks definitely make the game more challenging, though. That's part of the reason we're having so much of death. It just makes the game a lot more difficult. Glass items, or, er, um, uh, turn all this crap into glass. Huh. I don't know this place. Oh, yeah, okay, so I, I don't know what the glass would make, though. Come in, okay, I guess we'll walk through some more volcanic ash, so this plink plink can come do something. Time to blow my glass flute and time to my bros and then... Wait. A flute? Is that all you make me? Because I'd rather have a saxophone. Because I know how to play the saxophone. There we go. We picked that up in our silt, soot, sack. Santa's sack. Okay. This is probably me, Ninja Boy. Ninja Boy, Romeo. No. That was an awful rap song. It was really stupid. If I remember correctly. Thanks for finding me, but we still have to battle. I didn't think you weren't going to battle me. I like how they're just hiding in the soot. Like, yeah, I've been here for three months, but maybe one day I can run into a trainer and then I can go home and eat dinner. Yay! Like, I feel like life's really depressing for these ninja kids. They're little boys, too. They're, like, really short. It's like, maybe now I can eat dinner, Mom. I did well. I battled the trainer. But I lost. Oh, no dinner for five weeks. No, Dad, please. I'm a terrible person. Ninja, at least now we have Skarmory to deal with these kinds of bugs. This thing's probably going to outspeed us, because it's really fast. And it's level 20. Yeah, it's going to outspeed us. It's going to screech. Oh, no, 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 no. I like how, like, screech and growl can miss. Like, oh, I growled in the wrong direction. Whoops. I'm not really concerned. I don't think this thing has anything for me. Watch it use, like, Flamethrower. Fury Cutter. Yeah, I quad resist that. I don't care about the Screech. That's still gonna do, like, three damage. Sorry, Ninja Kid. No dinner for you tonight. No, please. I can give you, like, a... Uh... Yeah, I can't give you anything. <laughs> I'm holding a grudge against youngsters right now because of Macaroon. Rainbow is gonna go to level 19. That's a good amount of experience, actually. My nin... Did he say ninjutsu? Like, spinjutsu? Ninjago Masters of Spinjitsu! Ah, oh, sweet an item. Hyper Potion! Nice! That's actually good. Alright. Uh, question of the day, even though we don't normally have a question of the day. This is just kind of random. What? Who is the deadliest trainer in any Pokemon game you've nuzlocked so far? Um, that kid wasn't really deadly, it's just because of the Pokemon I sent out. So he can be potentially deadly. Deadly trainer is the Furfral couple that killed my Vivian and X and Y come to mind. There's this scientist, I've been playing through a Platinum Wedlock. Uh, just straight up normal Platinum or Wedlock, or Wedlock rules. Um, except I can heal and battle three healing item, you know, limit. Um, I have to name them after artists. So I had Van Gogh the Zubat, and he was like my highest level, and he was like wrecking life. He just destroyed Gardenia, and uh... I got to that scientist, dude, I knew what he did, because he wiped my whole team. The first game I tried to Nuzlocke was, what's it called, um, Platinum. And he wiped my whole team in that Nuzlocke, my Turtwig and everyone. So I was playing through this, and I'm like, okay, he's going to use the X-Special on the Kadabra, and if I remember correctly, that's what he does, and then he uses Confusion. I was like, alright, I'm hoping Zubat can kill with one bite, if not, then he can outspeed. I even had the Quick Claw on him. I hit the bite, got down to red HP. He used the X-Special, I'm like, that's fine, come on, Zubat, outspeed, Quick Claw, something. 
I didn't outspeed, and I lost Van Gogh to Zubat, which was really tragic. Then I fight, I fought these annoying, uh, Starlies, he kept using Endeavor Quick Attack, killed my Primplup and my Budu, because I ran out of Super Potions. Oh, you're Kinder. Okay, you're Kinder. I can see that you're a trainer. So that means you use the Pokemon Store system I developed. Yeah, I keep all my dead Pokemon in there. And their remains. And their families. How I arrived at that conclusion is a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great you're using the storage system. You can please visit my home. My house is on Route 114. I'm lonely. I have no friends. Please? Marry me? Okay, no. So we have to say goodbye to Macaroon. There's a hair. Macaroon, the Electric. That, those were like literally the worst circumstances for anyone on my team. I still can't believe I got into a situation like that. Oh, uh, Macaroon, you had... Oh, okay, I'm just gonna freaking shank me. I might shank myself, but it's not my fault. There was nothing I could do. I didn't know what that trainer had. I'm sorry, Macaroon. This game was just too hard not looking up the trainers. We just... I'm sorry, Macaroon. You, you've done so well. You've been around for so long. You will not be forgotten. Although I need to take your orange berry. The reason I keep them in the storage system is because I like to kind of keep track of them and see their stats. Because while I still I'll record it some, I, I don't always get all the cool parts that I want to see. I just like to be able to look back some days and be like, oh, look at all these Pokemon that died. And then maybe I'd get depressed, but I don't know. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. All right, what a disaster. Oh, Kinder, help. You've got to come with me. What's a disaster? I don't want to battle you again, May. You're a jerk, okay? Y you see, Professor Cosmo, he's written by some weird guys calling themselves Team Something or Other. Those shady characters. Keep it shady! They call themselves Team Magma. It seems that they plan to do something with a meteorite that the professor has been researching. The professor is just too gullible. If you show the least bit of interest in his research, he will happily go within you anywhere with you uh, without question. Here, please, you've got to help me save him. They can't be, they be planning to do anything good with Professor Cosmo's research. They might eat it. We have to do some... Uh, I'm going to go ahead right away. Let's meet up at Meteor Falls. I'm counting on you, Kinder. <laughs> And I'm gonna go explore your house. Ooh, computer! Is that a Windows 10? Actually, when this came out, I think Windows. I don't think Windows 10 was invented yet. Here we go. Let's look through the the telescope. Oh, I can't look through it. Well, that stinks. Well, I'm gonna climb down the ladder. Let me make sure that my Pokemon's are healed. They are all healed. The Star Patch have Thunder Wave. See, Macaroon was my Pokemon to get. Okay, Star Patch does have Thunder Wave. Um. In a way, it's good that Red Velvet and Fireball are paired together in case there is a Groundhog. I can switch into Red Velvet to take the uh, hit because it won't do any damage. Uh, I still wish that Macaroon didn't have to die, that really stinks. But as it is, I'll probably end up catching Altaria on the next route, and having Altaria and Skarmory in the same pair would have been bad, because they're both uh, flying types. Even if they do have certain resistances, still, it would just be better that they w are not in the same pair. I'll probably get a, a Swablu, I mean, not Altaria, but you know, it becomes Altaria. Uh, I, I don't know, though, we'll have to see. So this is the Move Tutor's house, so I don't really care about anything right there. We're gonna go on to Route 114, so we do get a new encounter here, which, this is the dude that's mining. All the fossils are mining. This is where you get the fossils! And then Orberg City, I can get... Yeah, I think they're level 20. My brother's a fossil maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole by himself. He can have this, so you can, use dig, you, so you can dig holes just like my big brother. Nice! Team 28 dig. I like that. I like that. Um... Okay, wait. So, I think I can get Cradilly here. Cradilly's still weak to ground. Right? Alright, let me do some research real quick on the fossilized Pokemon. I'll be right back. So guys, it looks like Cradilly's actually not weak to ground, which kind of, if you do get Cradilly here, which I think you can, if you choose the root fossil, I like Armaldo better, but Cradilly's not weak to ground, and it's a grass type, which I need to take out other ground types, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this fossil, and um, oh uh, man, I'd have to do a long way back, it's a long way back to Rustboro, but let's see, let's, ju let's just see, wait, Rustboro's where you hatch them, right? Where's the museum where you recover them? I can't remember. I think it's in Rustboro. I don't know, actually. Uh, I'm a fossil maniac. I'm, I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. No, 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 it's a slate port. You want a fossil? But the fossils are on none for you. If you can't go without a fossil, try the desert on Route... Oh, that's right. You get them on Route 111. <sighs> what a jerk. You know, I could really use a Cray Dilly right now. Especially since I just lost my Electrike. Should be like, sob story about... And then my Electrike died? And I just wanted a new friend! <laughs> And he'd be like, fine, you have a fossil. Actually, he'd probably be like, nope, I'm a jerkweed, I don't care. This guy's really powerful, isn't he? Oh, he doesn't battle you. No one dares to come near me. Sai, if you would, please take it to this team. That's right, he, he gives you team more. Right. I knew he did something. I just couldn't remember what. Oh, shoot. Don't want that. Uh, Fisherman. So for Fisherman, we're going to use Sour Patch. Sour Patch is up at the front. Nice, nice, nice. 
If you were fishing, you wouldn't stand a chance against me. So bring on your Pokemon. Actually, before I catch a small bonus rod, I want to see if there are any good water Pokemon that I could fish for with the old rod. I might actually look it up. Maybe get a core fish. I just need something good to take out ground types. Um, that's just something that I think I need. Alright, we got Pikachu Libre out here. Let's fight. Electro Ball. We're gonna outspeed, so that's gonna do, I think, double damage because we're outspeeding, or more damage. That might KO. Oh my goodness! Libre Pikachu for the freaking win. Turn to 79. A Whalmer! Oh goodness, kill it before it uses rollout. Please, Sour Patch. Please. Don't even let a mud pie come near this thing. He will probably wreck its face. Actually, he'd probably die, but he'd be very depressed because these things are really annoying. Water Pulse is gonna hurt. No Confuse Hacks, I'm begging you. Goodness gracious, but no confused hacks, so that's really generous of the game. We're gonna use Electro Ball right here. Boom! Right in your face, Whalmer. That's what I wanna do to Whale or to Maze Whalmer. Frickin' murder its face off. Alright, we're gonna go to level 22 with Sour Patch. That's nice. Alright, Fisherman Claude is down. If we were fishing, I would have won. I'm sure you would have. Actually, I don't know. I've, I've gotten some practice in fishing in this game. So let's check on this route. Uh, I see Goldeen. Oh, is that a C dot? Yeah, it's a C dot. I can use a C dot. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch a Pokemon without fishing because if I really want to fish, there's an old route, and once I get a Super Rod, I can probably catch like level 20 Tentacles on it. So if I and plus Tentacles are weak to point or ground, so I can catch like Magic. I don't know. But well, we're gonna we're gonna get a, a Water type later. For now, I'm gonna heal, and then we'll take on the next trainer. I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone challenges me, I'm there, even if I'm fishing. That's cool. I do think we're going to be getting some evolution soon. I think Judith evolves level 25, I believe? 25-ish? Oh my goodness! It's a good thing I have an electric type. Bum, bum, ba, na, na. Let's outspeed, I think. Ooh, Intimidate. That's not really going to matter right now. It is one level above me, too. Dang. Outspeed Sour Patch. There we go. That's a KO. That's quad effective. That's an Electro Ball from Pikachu Libre. You're going to tank it. Don't have Earthquake. Bite's going to hurt. Bite's going to hurt. A good amount. Good thing you're not faster, you might flinch me. Let's Electro Ball one more time. That's gonna take down Gyarados. Uh, Gyarados Cyclitus. 931. Holy frick! That's a lot. Alright, are there. Oh, Robin Gaming uploaded a video. I'm gonna go heal again! Are there even any more fishermen? I think there are. Oh, Wingles. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go heal. I'll be right back. Alright, so guys, here we go on the next route. So. I mean, swab encounter-wise, Swablu would not be bad, and I'll probably wind up getting a Swablu. But I think I would prefer. Oh, what, what, what is this? I think I would prefer a C dot. Cause C dot's a grass type. What is it? It's a Surskit. That's a water bug type. Ah, do I want a? I don't really want a Surskit though. Masquerade is not very good. I don't really want a service kit. I'd like a C dot. Swablu would be okay with two. C dot, it can be any gender. Swablu, alright, so it looks like we're getting ourselves a Swablu. Alright, dun 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 dun. Level 17 female, I like it female. Um, we're gonna go for the Thunder Wave. There we go. So Swablu's a nice addition to the team. I'm actually really happy it's female. I have a really solid name for this thing. Really solid name for this thing, because it's female, I get the name after Candy. Let's use Quick Attack. Let's see how much Quick Attack's gonna do. Whoa! Critical hit. Okay, let's just try. We weakened it a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. You know, whatever. Bag, uh, Pokeball. Let's just use... Actually, I think we catch it with a Pokeball, to be honest. Let's just try Pokeball. And I guess we'll find out. Alright, Pokeball, go! I might need to do a grinding montage. I do want to get Swablu a partner, probably before I would do a grinding montage, though. So I'd probably grind up Swablu and her partner, depending upon what level her partner is. And then I'd probably grind up Skarmory if Skarmory doesn't get enough levels on this route. So I want everyone to be, like, level 23, I would think. So I'd want, yeah, I'd want everybody to be, like, level 23. Uh, 27 is the level limit right now, in case you don't know. I don't have that on the sidebars. Uh, I just never really put it there. Alright, so we're gonna name you Cotton Candy, which is the best name because he's a cotton ball. Oh my gosh, I've been so wit- Yeah, I knew, because you basically are guaranteed to get an Altaria on this route, and I'm fine with that, I like Altaria. I used one in my, um, White 2 wedlock at one point, he was pretty good. Um, enter, Cotton Candy, um, and I was like, yeah, I'm naming it Cotton Candy. Although at the time I was thinking he was gonna be paired with Skarmory, unfortunately that's not the case, but you know what. 
Actually, one perk of Skarmory being paired with Numbel, I can now Magnitude, as long as I don't Roost. I have to make sure that I don't make the mistake of using Roost, because if I use Roost, then a Magnitude's gonna hurt Skarmory too. I don't have Roost on Skarmory right now, but I'm really thinking that I'm not going to run it. I, I don't know. I'll think about that more later. But there is a double battle down there, so that's why I was talking about that. Yes, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. Alright, well, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. I think Maxi's highest on Mount Chimney is 25, which would make sense. It's 25 or 26, which would make sense because the gym leader's max level is 27. So, yes. I think he's 25. I just remember there being level 25, because I think that's where my Aeron evolved into a Laron, something like that, in original Sapphire. So, we're back on Route 114. We're going to battle that double trainer battle thingy. Um, so, Cotton Candy in a pair by yourself right now. So, time to move up Red Velvet and Fireball to the front. That way we can get some magnitude uh, duos. Let's see, what does... Alright, let's go. I was just thinking out loud there for a minute. Just random crap. Okay. No wild poke... Clearly this game is not very good at listening. We're under a Swablu. I think we can get away from this thing. I think we can get away from this thing. Am I correct in thinking that, Red Velvet? Am I correct in thinking that? I am correct in thinking that. I'm rambling on a bit, a bit like, uh, shady, because I watch his videos a lot, so I think I've picked up some of his, uh, mannerisms a little bit. Oh, I didn't read what they said, but they're kind of in the mood to battle, is what the second one said. Uh, Tira and Ivy. I always think of Amy and someone else, because they're, oh, frick, she has an Azumarill! Why do you have an Azumarill? Not good. Wait, it's, uh... Fairy, so that should be neutral. I need protect. I really freaking need protect. Let's just... I can't use Lava Plume. Oh my goodness, that would be bad. Um, should I go for Amnesia? I probably wouldn't outspeed. Oh, shoot! What do I do? I'm just gonna go for Magnitude right now. Or should I go to take out the Rosalia? Because Magnitude's just not gonna do a lot. Well, I'm gonna Magnitude anyways. We might get lucky and get a really high power Magnitude. Please, Azumarill, please! Oh my gosh, that did nothing. Sunspore on whom? Oh my goodness, Numbel, you have to hit it with this thing. You have to hit it with this thing. Please hit this magnitude. Bubble Beam! Oh, on Red Velvet. Okay, that's cool. We are having problems right now. We are having serious problems right now. Hit this magnitude, okay? Hit the magnitude, Fireball. Oh my gosh! This thing has a death wish. This thing has a death wish. Please. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, fireball. Oh, shoot, fireball. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is actually happening right now, isn't it? So, I have to send out a Pokemon of the same gender, which means I have to send out Mud Pie. Oh, my goodness. I have to send out Mud Pie. Oh, my goodness. I have to send out Mud Pie. Why does this game hate me? Why does this game hate me? I have to send out Mud Pie because I have to send out a Pokemon of the same gender. Why does this game hate me? Should I heal up Red Velvet? I'm just gonna air cutter. I need all the damage I can get right now. I'm gonna go for a bulldoze and just hit everyone. Magical. <sighs> my pie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I knew that was. Come on, live it, Skarmory. Live it, Skarmory. This is not happening right now. This is... I can't do this game like this! I can't... I can't do this game like this! I have to send in Mud Pie because you have to send in a Pokemon of the same gender. That's the rule. You watch Maryland if you don't believe me. Okay, I'm sending in Sour Patch now. Frick this. Frick this. <sighs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious! My whole team is getting wiped! I almost just attacked with Scar right now. We need to heal. We need to heal and pray for no crits. How much is Super Potion gonna heal? Uh, 60. I just need. I just need a fresh water. Fresh water, red velvet, and let's freaking kill this stupid thing. No matter what pair I use, this thing would have destroyed me. Not knowing what these trainers have and doing a wedlock is not okay. Oh, you better not pull any crap, K mate. Alright, you're dead, Azumarill. Get the freaking up out. Get up. You're not even dead. You're not even dead. You're not even dead. Sour Patch. 
Oh my gosh! Magical. Wait, I'm paralyzed, so I would outspeed me anyways. Because Magical Leaf has a high crit hit ratio. I, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. Okay, on Skarmory's turn, because I'd probably get fully paralyzed anyways, we're gonna go for a fresh water on Sour Patch. How many healing items have I used? One on Skarmory, one on Sour Patch. This is... Oh, and by the way, because it depends on what turn I'm using them. So if I were to use a healing item with Red Velvet's turn on Sour Patch, then it would count as a healing item for Red Velvet. So I've used two healing items on Red Velvet's turn, so those are two healing items for Red Velvet. I could heal uh, Red Velvet with Sour Patch and still be in the clear. Let's just kill this freaking thing. Kill that Azumarill. It's annoying as frick. Or should I have tried to flying press the Rosalia? I don't know, man. Good, it's not going to help in hand, so even if that Magical Leaf crits, I don't know if it'll kill this time. Thank the Lord that Azumarill's down! Frick that. That makes me mad. Goodness gracious. Mm. No, don't learn faint. Keep, keep, yeah, get, give up, yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> By the way, that means Sour Patch and Red Velvet are now paired up. Do I want it? No. I have it as a team, and even, even if I wanted to teach it later on. Yeah, give up on double team. Wow, we are just getting completely obliterated. Do not crit me. Do not crit me. Do not crit me. Do thank you. Air cutter. Actually, no, I'm gonna be I'm playing it safe. I'm playing it safe. I'm gonna go. Do I have a potion? Please tell me I have a potion. I always need to buy basic potions. Remember that. I'm just gonna fresh water one more time. This is the last healing item Skarmory can use, but I don't think it'll matter. We're gonna fresh water and we're gonna go for flying press. Just in case we miss flying press or some weird crap, because knowing this game right now, I'm not screwing around with it. Thank you. We're gonna hit it. We're gonna smack into that result, we're gonna take it down. That was literally... My team's just not good enough, my team's not versatile enough to be able to take crap like this right now. You're amazing way of battling! Oh, yeah! Oh my goodness. Well... No, you're not battling me, rich kid. Oh my frick. Well, we get an encounter in Meteor Falls. I was hoping to have a full team by the time I had to go battle Maxi. I was like, I lost Macaroon, but you know what? I still have... Two, I still have a bunch of other Pokemon, you know. I, I think I can do this. I think I can do this. But I, my pairs, wedlocks are hard enough as they are. Not knowing what the trainer, what the opposing trainers bring makes it even harder. Only having three items per battle makes it even harder. So, I, yeah, I've upped the ante and I've made the game really difficult. That's why I'm losing Pokemon. Because the Wild Redlock was a lot easier. I didn't have all these rules in place. So that's why I didn't lose nearly as many Pokemon. But now I've got way more rules in place. I'm just getting screwed over around every freaking corner. So, organize boxes. Well, this has been depressing. So, oh my goodness, uh, who? <sighs> Fireball, you were so good. I loved you so much, Fireball. You wrecked so many times, and unfortunately, you had to go down because of some stupid crap. Yeah, it was stupid crap because you had just a poor matchup. Just like Macaroon, your previous partner, poor matchups. Poor matchups all across the board. Rest in peace. And you know what? If I still had Fireball and, um... You know what? If Fireball and Macaroon had still been a pair together, like Macaroon hadn't been killed earlier today, I bet Macaroon could have taken out that Azuma real quickly. Because if Bubble Beam Skarmor first, or if it had Bubble Beamed, uh, Macaroon... Yep. Yep, if it had Bubble Beamed Macaroon, I think we would have been in the clear. It's just, it's all about circumstances, and I've had some pretty poor circumstances. And oh my gosh, Mud Pie wrecked everyone. You were the sole survivor of the May Massacre, and now I can't believe you're gone, buddy. You were so close to evolving. Oh my gosh, that's just heartbreaking. You've been with me for so long, Mud Pie. You were my oldest team member on the team right now, but you know what? Poor circumstances. I had to send you in. I had to send in a Pokemon of the same gender. Those are the rules. I play by the rules. I'm... <sighs> I couldn't have lived with myself if I'd sent in Sour Patch instead and been like, oh yeah, whatever. Th those are the rules that Marilyn made. I'm pretty sure those are the rules, and I'm, I'm sorry, my pie that you had to die. Oh my goodness. Well, we now have two full rows of dead Pokemon. Isn't that just fantastic that we're getting screwed over so hard? These rules are difficult. And you know, some of you might be like, well, just look up the trainers on the next routes for now. No, I've come this far. I would be dishonoring their memory if I tried to take it easier on myself now. We're going hardcore or we're going home. We're going hardcore, or we're going home. <sighs> well, I'll be back when we're back on the route. 
Alright guys, so we're going to talk to this lady. Oh, Kinder, I'm sorry everything is so cluttered when I get engrossed and research things end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this a secret exchange for us. A CDOT doll. Wish that was a real CDOT so I could kill... Mm. Yeah, things are getting sad. But, by the way, um, the reason I had to send in a female Pokemon, even though you're supposed to send in males, because I was all out of male Pokemon, and you are supposed to send in the next whatever. I mean, I can't not send in a Pokemon, so... Yeah, that, there was nothing I could do. There, these, all these battles, there's been nothing I could do. No matter what pair I used, I would have lost someone. That's what really makes me mad. Ugh. I'm looking up, uh, what is it? I wanted to look up if Skarmory's weak to rock, actually, or not. Because I know there are a lot of, like, hikers and campers coming up ahead. And I wanted to see if he's actually weak. He's weak to electric and fire, so he's not actually weak to rock. He's got pretty good physical defense. <clears throat> so... We've, we still got. I should know to stay away from double battles. Double battles always give me trouble in wedlocks, especially when I don't know what the trainers are going to have. This dude has like a Loudred, I think, doesn't he? Something like that. I don't even know. He said few, 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 few backwards. Oh, I was wrong. It's an Aeron. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and send in Pikachu Libre, because Pikachu Libre has got a quad effective flying press coming your way today, kind sir. And I know Sour Patch is getting a level. I now have nobody using us the next gym. I mean, sure, I do have three slots open, but... Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is... This is... <sighs> this is the definition of garbage. Yep, I'm sorry. Cotton candy, goodbye. This, this is... Future. I, I can't even be mad anymore. I just I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad about that. I can't even. Wedlocks are just too hard, man. When I've not when I've only played this game once before, well once and a half before. Wedlocks are just too hard, man. I'm just gonna go home and cry. The thing is, I am home. You no, know, I'm just trying to play this game. I'm so tired of this garbage. I just I can't get. Mm. Uh, well, it's time to go back in a sour patch and finish what I was trying to start before you so rudely roared me out of there. there. Again, nothing I could do. He has to be the last Pokemon in my team. Even if I'd leveled, even if I'd level her up. Oh my goodness! Why is Flying Press not super effective? Because it's part flying. Why do those rock tombs do so much freaking damage, Aaron? Kill yourself! Oh my gosh, thank you, Sour Patch. Alright, now we're starting to get a little... Oh my goodness, do not pull this crap with me. Do not pull this crap with me. I will end you. I will end you. I will end you! Annoying piece of trash! Throw yourself out a window, and, I don't know, drink bleach if you're capable of doing that. The internet's new favorite saying, drink bleach. That did even less. I got minimal damage probably on that roll. Come on, flying press him, Pikachu! Kick his butt! Do not crit me. <sighs> Time to heal. He's probably gonna crit me. I bet he was gonna crit me. I bet he was gonna crit me. I'm just... <sighs> well, now I got four slots open on the team. We are literally gonna have, I think, three Pokemon to go up against Maxi. I'm gonna have to do some serious grinding and some serious rethinking of my life. Just go for freaking Electro Ball. We're still gonna outspeed, and you're still gonna be dead. So it's not like it matters. <sighs> he had to have Roar. He had he had to have Roar. He just had to have Roar. <sighs> we are literally not even halfway through, and we have lost two and a half rows of Pokemon. I'll be back in a minute, I guess. I'm sorry, Cotton Candy. Just like... Just like Sweetheart, your life was cut short too quickly. You had so much potential, but... Nothing I could do about it. I'm sorry. I, There was nothing I could do. Couldn't put you in the box. Roar, you were the last Pokemon in the pair. I mean, unless I could have put... I guess I could have put you in between Pikachu and... But that wouldn't have made sense, because it's a wedlock. They're supposed to be next to each other in a party. I mean, that's not a rule, but it's just generally how things work. But maybe I won't do that anymore, in case, you know, there's some roar BS like that. So I guess I won't do that anymore, in case there is some roar BS like that. So. 
off back to Route 114, the route where I'm going to flip out and probably murder some people. Um, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. We are down to just two Pokemon, Sour Patch and Red Velvet. I've probably almost used up the entire graveyard side on my icon. That means I'm probably going to have to, like, I don't know what I'm going to do if I run out of space on that. I, I, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do if I run out of space on that. Well, it'll just be bad news bears. Uh, there's fine item back there, but none of my living Pokemon have Rock Smash, so that's not really going to work, is it? You guys are, where are you taking the professor? Hey, wait, oh, I can't talk. Yeah, let's just, I'm not going to battle this can. No. Yep, walked into it. Bet you has got a ground type, bet you has got a ground type. Bet you has got a ground type. Minin. I literally don't have any more ground... That's the worst thing after you kill both my ground types. After you kill both my ground I can't battle this thing. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I can't even rebuild because I'm going to lose more Pokemon, probably. Switcheroo. What the frick? Fine. I'm just glad he's doing dumb moves. You know what? Keep doing dumb things. Please don't be resisted because it's part flying. It's resisted because it's part flying. Swift. That's going to do a lot. That's going to do a frick ton. Let's just quick attack. Not going to use Thunder or Electro Ball in case this thing's Lightning Rod. Please don't have a Puzzle as well. Fine, I'm going to keep using Quick Attack. You know what? I was going to do that anyways. I was going to do that anyways. I literally have no idea what I'm supposed to do against the gym. Okay, go ahead. Switch route. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's why I don't run Oran Berries when I go up against mine. It's not like I knew this was going to be a mine though, so... I sh forgot about I should actually put on Oran Berries after this. Um, as bad as my luck's been recently, I really need some Oran Berries on my mons. My rules that I have on me are just too difficult. I need to play through these games more before I decide to... Before I decide to wedlock them. That's, that should probably be a general rule for me. I'm not going to do against um, Maxi's camera up to now. If I, get a nice rock, if I get a rock type, he's just going to kill it with a ground type move. I need a water type. I'm going to have to go back to that route and catch a water type. Um, actually, I can get a water type on the route below Meteor Falls, I believe. So that's, that's good. That's nice. I'm going to have to do that because I'm running out of options. I'm running out of... Oh my goodness gracious. He did not just do that. He did not do that. Red Velvet, I love you. Breakthrough. Thank you. Well, you know what? Now that I only have two Pokemon, I don't really have anything to lose. It's like I said, hardcore or home. And we went hardcore. Maybe a little too much. But you know what? Hardcore or home. We went hardcore. We gotta pay the consequences. <sighs> of doing a challenge of doing a very challenging game like this. Wedlocks are hard, man, when you don't know the Pokemon you're up against. Wedlocks are hard. That's why you don't see anybody do a randomizer wedlock, because you would literally lose it. I was like, only a randomizer nuzlocks, that's dumb. I don't like just playing nuzlocks as much as wedlocks. Well, that's because you literally when you don't know what Pokemon they have, randomizer wedlock is pretty much impossible. This guy's gonna have fire types. Um, that's not okay. So can I skip him? Can I, can I skip him, please? Yes, 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 yes. We made it, we made it. <sighs> okay. Now I'd like to switch. Uh, what's his face back up at the front? Red Velvet. Switch with Sour Patch. Alright, great. Oh, I do need to give them both Oran Berries. I don't know how much time is left in this episode, but we're probably not going to be able to get through as much as I wanted to. Uh, but, you know, we've had some pretty unfortunate... Yeah, switch with the Metal Coat. And some pretty unfortunate circumstances, so you know what? I think it's understandable. I think it's very understandable.